to imagine how much energy is harnessed in there. Imagination is not necessary. The scale is readily quantifiable. We are presently generating 12.75 billion gigawatts per... Exactly when will they reach Haven? Exactly. 13 hours, 9 minutes, 22 seconds, 350... Th Thank you. Five months, six days, 11 hours, two minutes. Thank you, Data. Commander, if the Borg stay at warp 9.6, we'll be forced to discontinue pursuit and power down in less than three hours. Two hours, 40 minutes, three seconds. How long before? They should receive in 51 years, 10 months, 9 weeks, 16 days. Mr. Data. The resumption of our present course at warp 6 will place us in the Talib Beta system in six days, 13 hours, 47 minutes. What, no seconds? I have discovered, sir, a certain level of impatience when I calculate a lengthy time interval to the nearest second. However, if you wish... No. If there are only supposed to be 114 people on board, why all the extra space? Transportation of colonists, diplomatic missions, emergency evacuation... Thank you, Mr. Data. I've analyzed the recording Dr. Crusher made. Most of it is quite ordinary. 150 discussions about ship operations. 252 conversations of a personal nature, five couples engaged in romantic encounters. Your point, Mr. Data. Joined together, they would make a rectangle or square enclosing 121 square meters. If put end to end vertically, they would make a pole 44 meters high, or two of 22. Thank you. This is the third unstable wormhole I've passed through during my time with Starfleet. The first was aboard the USS Trieste. Thank you, Mr. Data. You objected to the fact that he seemed unwilling to set aside sufficient time for you. You said he was unresponsive, that he never did the little things. You disliked the sound he made when he ate his okay, soup. Okay, okay. It was a recreation of the Orient Express, a train which traveled from Paris to Istanbul from the late 19th century yes, until... Yes, yes, Data, I know about the Orient Express. The use of the chime is quite unique, but not at all dissimilar to the Ulans of Marigeritus VI, who use two large stones which are continuously struck together during the meal. Those at the dinner must eat until the stones are broken. Or the oligarchy at active spore, which requires a young... Data, this is fascinating. Such as mother, father, child, home, tribe, food, life, death, yours, ours, mine. Data. In a manner of speaking, it is nothing but a lifeless hunk of rock, a useless ball of mud, a worthless chunk of... Thank you, Data. He is only a facsimile, a knockoff, a cheap imitation. Thank you, Mr. Data. This is blue. This is the blue ocean. This is the blue ocean at sunset. This is two people walking along the beach by the blue ocean at sunset. This is two happy people in love walking along the beach by the blue ocean at sunset. This is two... Data, tell me about neuranium. It vaporizes at... 2,314 degrees, sir. Of course, neuranium carbide... Thank you, Data. And the German nation, red, black, and gold. The Italians, green, white, and red. The British... That's enough, Data. Of course, there are 3,004 other planets in this star cluster in which we could have colonized. The largest and closest... Data, don't babble. To seek covertly... To go stealthily. To slink. Slither. Exactly, yes. Glide. Creep. Skulk. Pussyfoot. Gum. Yes. Glob fly. A Klingon fly, half the size of an Earth mosquito, with no sting, and a buzzing sound like this. Data. Hmm? Spinning wheels. Cattle. Access. Chickens. Pigs. A device used Not for spinning DNA, yarn or thread, which consists of a travel. large hand or foot-driven wheel and one How spinning would anyone spindle. Anyone carry such an insane a mix thin, of rounded, cargo. tapering rod. Data. Ah. Cat. Knave, rake, rascal, villain, wild yes, elephant. Data. To long for, to crave, a wish, a request. <laughs> Hui. Huh. As in hogwash, malarkey, jive, an intentional fabrication. There you go. It is a witticism, a gag, a bon mot, a fluctuation. Stop. Of... I found checksum discrepancies, sir. What does that mean? All information is time-coded by entry, and the bits, when totaled, produce an aggregate amount which... I don't want a computer science lesson, Data. Mariposa, the Spanish word for butterfly. Thank you, Data. I thought it might be significant, sir. It doesn't appear to be Data. No, sir. The Federation could end up buying a proverbial lemon. Proverbial lemon? Later, Data. Good evening, Mr. Data. Actually, good morning, sir. You don't sound like you're from Rate. It is a misconception that all Rotex speak with a particular inflection. In fact, there are 12 different... We come from... If you were any more perfect data, I'd have to write you up in a Starfleet medical textbook. I'm already listed in several biomechanical texts, Doctor. Yes, of course. 48 minutes. Ah, uh, 47, sir. <sighs> you had to walk over a kilometer along the bottom to get back to shore. One kilometer, 46 meters. From China's Song Dynasty.
14th century. 13th century, sir. Ah, yes, indeed. This one barrel contains over 4 billion doses. I would estimate 4 billion 375 million. Thank you, Mr. Data. Data, it's over 10 meters. 11.75, sir. Another minute and we'd have been fossils ourselves. Not precisely, Geordie. True fossilization requires several millennia. Data, look at this. Data. You certainly operate as well as we do, Data. Better in some ways, sir. While the information imparted to cadets at the Academy is unquestionably vital for prospective Starfleet officers, it nonetheless requires a significant period of supplementary systems training and situational disciplines. Didn't I just say that? Yes, sir, but not quite as perspicuously. Her system's failures are not endemic to the ship, but are the result of the actions of an unknown adversary. We have a saboteur aboard. I believe I said that. Gentlemen. That is from an obscure language known as French. Counting coup. Mr. Data, the French language for centuries on Earth represented civilization. While suggesting the free treatment of form usually attributed to Fauvism, this quite inappropriately attempts to juxtapose the disparate cubistic styles of Picasso and Leger. In addition, the use of color suggests a haphazard melange of clashing styles. Furthermore, the unsettling overtones of proto-Vulcan influences. Thank you, Mr. Data. You are welcome, sir. If I can be of further assistance. No, thank you. Here for a trim? My hair does not require trimming, you lunkhead. What? That is true. Q's interest in you has always been very similar to that of a master and his beloved pet. You see, Sir Isaac, the joke depends on an understanding of the relativistic curvature of space-time. If two non-inertial reference frames are in relative motion... Do not patronize me, sir. I have heard that in moments of diplomatic tension, it is often helpful to find elements of commonality. Master Byleth is... demanding, temperamental, and rude. You share all of those qualities in abundance. Perhaps you should try to build on your similarities. Counselor Troy has altered her appearance. What? Heaven's name? It is Stars and Stripes Forever, sir, by John Philip Sousa, an American composer of band music in the early 20th century. Yes, yes, I know that. Hey, you're not one of them card counting fellows, are you? The number of the cards and their values remain quite constant. What would be the purpose in counting them? The phasers, sir, set on kill. Thank you, Mr. Dayton. I have heard the sound before. Doctor, may I remind you, since you show the highest hand, you control the next bet. Thank you, Data. Captain, the Admiral and I were worried about you. Captain, I do not believe you have the authority to promote me to the rank of Admiral. I find it extremely difficult to predict what you will find acceptable. We are currently attempting to isolate the corrupted circuit pathways. I reckon the process should take less than two hours. What did you say? It was raining in the city by the bay. A hard rain. Hard enough to wash the slime. Data. Sorry, sir. Mr. Data? Not it, Commander. Je suis né... Alors, nous au Lyon. Alors, nous sommes presque frères. Je suis heureux de vous connaître. According to my memory logs, I did not use those words. Y'all must be mistaken. Yeah, me too, boss. I'd love to take a gander. Dear Data, you did it again. Did what? Let me kill him. He's really beginning to irritate me. Good! Am I dancing, Doctor? Not quite. Stop, Data. Could you please continue the petty bickering? I find it most intriguing. Captain, I am detecting life readings from the planet's surface, as well as several small areas of thermal radiation and carbon dioxide emissions indicative of combustion. Campfires, Data. 
Is that not what I said? Continue, Commander. Wa, cha, wei, mo, tok. My upper spinal support is a poly alloy designed to withstand extreme stress. My skull is composed of cortonide and duranium. I could be chasing an untamed ornithoid without cause. A wild goose chase? I rather enjoy riding. I don't get to do it very often in this job. Perhaps you would be happier in another job. We care about you. Why, just recently, Jordy Wesley and I were saying, with all due respect, be gone! Sir. You're circling the room like a buzzard. Stop, Data. Maybe I'm just not right for this part. Most humanoids have the potential to be irrational. Perhaps you should attempt to access that part of your psyche. Thank you, Data. No, Data, wait a minute. Ow! No! Goodbye, Spot. He will need to be fed once a day. He prefers feline supplement number 25. I understand. And he will require water. And you must provide him with a sandbox. And you must talk to him. Tell him he is a pretty cat. And a good cat. I will feed him. Are you attempting to grow another beard? As a matter of fact, I am, Data. What do you think? As is the case with many natural growth processes, it is difficult to envision the end product based on an intermediate stage. On their return, they drew medical supplies. In most stars, the rare earth element, europium, is enriched relative to samarium and gadolinium. That's so. No, you're just moving to move slowly. Ow! Ow! Stop music! Who does he think he is giving me orders? Jordy thinks he is in command here. And he is correct. Got to Councillor Troy. Report to Main Engineering immediately. The guard to Councillor Troy. Report to Main Engineering immediately. We'll all be burning the midnight oil on this one. That would be inadvisable. Excuse me? If you attempt to ignite a petroleum product on this ship at zero hundred hours, you will activate the fire suppression system and will soon result in a supernova. However, the unmanned long-range space probe sent by Starfleet to observe the process has discovered something much more. Oh, Data, don't waste time. While another more liberal attitude would allow the child enormous freedom. Data. And what Klingons do to their children. Data, I am not talking about parenting. I am talking about the extraordinary consequences of creating a new life. Does that not describe becoming a parent, sir? What was the source of your jocular reaction? It is true that the intellectual efficiency of high-order beings does diminish proportionately with the deprivation of nutritious fuel and... All right, all right, don't... You may find it aesthetically displeasing, sir. I could just file a computer report on that. Data, do they accept our presence at this planet? Undecided, sir. Data. Please feel free to volunteer any important information. Judging by her appearance, it is likely you and Salia are biologically compatible. Of course, there could be a difference in the histocompatibility complex of the cell membrane, but... Data? Data. Let's proceed without the pipe. You know, if this doesn't work, the thought of spending the rest of my life in here is none too appealing. There is a bright side, Jordy. You will have me to talk to. Commander, I would like to remind you about my poetry reading this afternoon. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I can't wait to see what he's come up with. Ode to Spot. Felis Catus, is your taxonomic nomenclature an endothermic quadruped, carnivorous by nature? Your visual, olfactory, and auditory senses contribute to your hunting skills 
and natural defenses. I find myself intrigued by your subvocal oscillations. Stop data! Waveform modulator will be overloaded without the regeneration limiter in the first stage circuit. Hmm, interesting. However, theoretically, data. There was a young lady from Venus whose body was shaped like a captain to security. It would appear that you require a third party to intervene on your behalf. I will be happy to speak to her. No, Data. I assume that you're qualified to pilot this shuttlecraft? Certainly. I took advanced training in the operation of auxiliary space vessels at Starfleet Academy, where I received... A more than passing grade, no doubt. Please, come aboard. We don't have much time. And then we made it. I am not privy to the exact details of when, where, or how your first coupling took place. I could investigate if... No. Perhaps I should remain and further entertain our guest. No. A hiccup is a spasmatic inhalation with closure of the glottis accompanied by a peculiar sound. If we were to continue this analogy to a body function, what occurred would be best represented by enough a... data. Perhaps your telepathic skills are ineffective owing to the anomalous construction of the Ferengi brain, which is composed of four different... Thank modes. you, Mr. Data. Data. I am almost finished, sir. You are finished, Data. I have a memory record of the entire lecture, Counselor. I could repeat the portions you missed no, if you... No, thank you, David. Oh, try some caviar. <sighs> the order is not palatable. What is it? The unhatched eggs of a large, scaleless... Later, Data. That's an interesting question. Mm, yeah, for a later discussion. I understand that Arcaria has some very interesting weather patterns. Mr. Data, are you all right? Yes, sir. I am attempting to fill a silent moment with non-relevant conversation. It is very good to see you both again. Beverly. May I call you Beverly? Beverly, have you noticed that the mean temperature here on Arcaria is slightly higher than normal for human comfort levels? To know him was to love him. And to love him was to know him. I'm trying to find two individuals with a snake. A snake? Hmm. You're an odd fella, aren't you? Indubitably, my good woman. Now, smile. Act like you're enjoying yourself. Looks like the missus booted you out in the middle of the night. Ah, I understand the source of your misperception. However, this is not sleepwear, and I do not have a missus. I am a Frenchman. I am a Frenchman. Baby needs a new pair of shoes. I could organize your closets for you. I've been testing the aphorism, a watched pot never boils. I've updated there's nothing on the screen. That is not entirely correct. While it is true the display is currently blank, this emptiness has a poetic meaning. Therefore, it cannot be considered nothing as such. It is interesting that people try to find meaningful patterns in things that are essentially random. I have noticed that the images they perceive sometimes suggest what they are thinking about at that particular moment. Besides, it is clearly a bunny rabbit. You've done well. Something to write home about. What are you looking at? I'm not looking at anything, sir. I'm continuing to organize my files. But you were looking at me. I am sorry if I was disturbing you, sir. I will not look in your direction. Enter. 
Hello, Data. Counselor? What are you doing? I've been watching Spot sleep. And a monk, a clone, and a Ferengi decided to go bowling together. Come on, the Data. An android alarm clock. Is that amusing? Take my wharf, please. Warp speed, sir. Please. I was, of course, not serious about calling security. It was a joke. I got it, Data. Guy walks into the doctor's office. The doctor tells him you need an operation. The guy says, I want a second opinion. The doctor says, okay, you're ugly too, but boom, boom. A man goes to a store to buy some kidneys. Oh, no. He says to the shopkeeper, I'd like a pound of kiddlies, please. The shopkeeper says, you mean kidneys, don't you? The man says, I said kiddlies. Did a lie? Then there was the one about the girl in the nudist colony that nothing looked good on. We're ready to get underway, sir. Was that funny? No. Have you ever been for a real moonlight swim? One can swim in moonlight? Occupation, homemaker. Must be some kind of construction work. Have you got a cold? A cold what? <laughs> I require advice. <laughs> Don't look at me. No, no, Data. The cat's out of the bag. <laughs> Spot? No, I mean... You know, someday... My ship's gonna come in. Do you have a ship? It could have been your timing. My timing is digital. Take five. Throw them away. When I stroke the beard thusly, do I not appear more intellectual? <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have to go now. What the fuck? <laughs> That's a joke. It's funny. Huh. Of course it is. Say goodbye, Data. Goodbye, Data. <laughs>